Dear friends of the Tom Photo channel, I have measured the sharpness of many lenses throughout my videos. In this video, I'm going to make my method available to you and I'm making it simple for you to use. I'm showing how to use it in Linux, Mac or Windows. You can use this method to measure the sharpness of your lens, but also for example to decide between several photos which one turned out sharper and which one should be deleted. It will automatically find sharpness values for all of your images in your folder. We are going to run a Python script. Please don't feel intimidated or scared. You do not need to know anything about programming or scripts. You are just copying and pasting text and pressing a button. It's really simple and I'm here to provide support. I put the script in the text box below between the lines with asterisks. All you have to do is copy this script text with your mouse and paste it into a window of your favorite text editor, such as Notepad or Getit or something similar. Then you save the file as a simple unformatted text file. This is usually called TXT or CSV or unformatted text, uh, depending on your text editor that you're using. Give the file a name that you like, such as sharpness. Since this is a Python script, you may want to use a .py as the file extension. If you cannot choose such extension, change it later. Or leave it as is, the default .txt for example. It will still work. So now you have this script text in a file that is called sharpness.py for example. You are now ready to run this script provided that you have Python 3 installed. If you have Linux or Mac, chances are good that Python 3 came to you by default. If you have Windows or don't have Python 3, I'm showing you how to install Python 3 in a little bit. Let me first show you how to run this script assuming you have Python 3 installed and you run Linux or Mac. Window users, just bear with me for a second. Take the script file and copy it into the folder where your images are. For example, let's assume the folder is called MyPix and it's on the desktop. Open the terminal and navigate into that folder, uh, which is MyPix, through the terminal. If you don't know how to use or find the terminal, just search for a terminal on your computer. It'll be a black or white text window with a prompt. You now need to navigate into the folder where your photos and scripts are via this terminal. If you're new to this, here's an example. My terminal, for example, opens with a prompt like this. If my files, both the photos and the script file, are in the folder called MyPix on the desktop, I write this behind the prompt. CD space desktop forward slash my pics and hit enter. This takes my terminal to the folder where I previously put my files. In other words, I'm now accessing my files in two different ways simultaneously by using the normal file manager that you're used to using and by using the terminal. Now just write Python 3 and the file name of your Python script. For example, Python 3, empty space, sharpness.py and hit enter. This will create the file called results.txt that contains sharpness values for all of your photos and it will be in the same folder as your photos. Use your normal file manager to go to the folder where you put your photos and you'll find the results.txt file next to your photos with all the numbers you need. This is really how simple it is. But let's now assume that you have Windows and you have Python 3 installed and the newly made Python script is in the desktop folder called MyPix again. This logic is very similar to Linux or Mac because Windows also has something called Terminal that behaves in a very similar way. You have to open it and navigate to where you put your photos and the script, just like we did for Linux and Mac. When I open the terminal, my prompt looks like this. 
To navigate into my folder called My Picks on the desktop, I write CD space and then the path to my folder. Note that this time there is C colon in front of the file path and for Windows you have to use backslash instead of forward slash. Everything else will look the same to you. Now I hit enter. As a result my terminal has now access to the folder my pics where all of the files are, the image files. Behind the new prompt with the folder name I now type python3 and the name of the script just like I did for Mac or Linux. I hit enter and magically a results.txt file will appear in the mypix folder next to the photos. You can access it via normal file manager and take a look at the results. This all sounds quick and simple, but let's do some troubleshooting too, just in case. What if you don't have Python 3 installed? No problem. In newer windows such as 10 or 11, uh, go to Microsoft Store and install it conveniently. For older windows, go to python.org website and download the Python 3 exe file from there by following the instructions. Installing Python for Mac is also simple. First install Brew the way you install any app if you don't already have it. Then go to the terminal and type brew install python3 and hit enter. To install python3 in Linux, simply go to the terminal and type apt install python3 and hit enter. In Mac or Linux you may need to put sudo in front of these commands, but you have probably done this before if you're a Mac or a Linux person. Then it'll ask you for a password. Simply enter it and press enter. If you get any error messages while running this script, just execute these two lines one by one via your terminal. This applies equally to Windows, Mac and Linux. It will make sure your Python has all the essential parts installed. If you have any questions or would like more personal assistance, please drop me a line in the comments. I'm here to help. I hope you found this video useful. If you want to support me, the best way would be to hit the like button and or subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye.